I hereby call to order the Village of Riverside Planning and Zoning Commission regular meeting for Wednesday, October 25th, 2023. And could you please call the roll? Commissioner Marhol? Here. Commissioner Miller? Here. Commissioner Lang? Here. Commissioner Braun? Here. Chairperson Hadigan? Here. We have a quorum. All right. The uh, first item we have, uh, visitors, petitions, citizen requests, and communications. There's no one present in the audience to speak. Uh, so we can move on to the liaison report. And you have a village board update. Sure, just a more of a housekeeping issue. Um, the rezoning application related to the development of 28 and 30 East Burlington, the applicant would like to take, to, uh, have the village board consider both the rezoning and the special use applications together. Uh, to comply with village code, the commission's recommendation will be delivered to the village board during their November 2nd meeting. And so per village code, the board then has six months to make a decision on that. So again, the special use will come back before you during your November 29th meeting. We'll have your recommendation and then both of those applications will proceed together with your recommendations to the village board. That's all I have. What is the special use? The uh, I'm sorry, the planned use, the special use is the planned unit development for, yeah, the PUD. Right. Yeah. And that's all I have, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, we have one item of new business e this evening, PZ 23-0010, Front Porch Text Amendments. This is a public hearing to consider an application from the Village of Riverside to amend the Village of Riverside zoning ordinance regulations relative to front porches. The affected sections include, but may not be limited to, section 1073, accessory structures and uses. Among the potential changes being considered include possibly changing the standards for porches for single or two family dwellings in the R3 district. Other procedural and process changes to the site plan review provisions in the village's zoning code may be considered. Is there a motion to open the public hearing? So moved. Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes. Notice of the public hearing was published in the landmark on October 4th, 2023 and will be marked as an exhibit. The remaining application materials will be marked as a second exhibit. Is there a motion to accept the exhibits? So moved. Second? Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes. Ann. Thank you. Just to confirm that the notice was published in conformance with state law and the village code. Uh, the language of the amendments was revised by Village Attorney Pickrell since you last reviewed it, who I believe made it much clearer. The proposed standards have not changed since you last reviewed them. And as a reminder, the Village Board reviewed and endorsed the amendments as proposed. Um, I'd be happy to go over them again, but just a, a, um, a couple of uh, uh, housekeeping issues. The Preservation Commission will review the amendments during their special meeting on uh, next Wednesday, November 1st, and provide their recommendation. And both of the text amendments and both commission's recommendations will then be forwarded to the Village Board for uh, final review and, and action uh, tentatively on November 16th. But if you have any questions, I'd be happy to uh, happy to answer them. I had a couple of uh, proposed changes to the text. Sure. There was a typo, and then other one other oh, no. change. If that's is this the right time to do that? Yes, please. Sure. Okay. Um, it, the beginning starts except as otherwise provided herein, and I'm assuming that's to re reference the new language. That's correct. I thought that might be better either by saying, except as a, like specifically saying in subparagraph A, because it's a very long first paragraph, um, or else putting it after the sentence that ends, be closer than 20 feet from the street lot line, except as provided in subsection A. I just thought that would be a little clearer that you know subsection A is the the accept situation. Anyway, that's just what I thought. It would be clear that way. And then uh, in the new text, the end of the third line from the bottom, there's just the use of the word two twice. <laughs> two it says two additional oh. two feet. Oh, thank you. And that's, yes. that's all. Sorry. Should that be a maximum of an additional two feet? Yeah, probably. Okay. He got that second two, yeah. I would guess. Yeah. I believe it is. It's supposed to be an additional two feet. Got it. Any other questions for Ian? All right. 
amendments. There is no one in the audience to discuss the amendments. Uh, is there a motion to close the public hearing then? I move to close the public hearing. Uh, second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes. All right, so we can open the floor for discussion at this point. Um, anyone have any comments, thoughts they'd like to share before we go through the standards for amendments? Okay, I feel like we've discussed this fairly thoroughly at our previous meetings. No, I think this, is, this text is pretty clean and where we want it to be. I would agree, I would agree with that. All right, in that case, we can go through the standards. Number one, the extent to which the proposed amendment promotes the public health, safety, comfort, convenience, and general welfare of the village. Yes, I think yes. that's that. Yeah. Standard is met. Number two, the relative gain to the public as compared to the hardship opposed upon the applicant. There's a gain here to the public. Definitely. And no hardship to the applicant. No hardship. <laughs> Certainly not. There's no, yeah. Uh, number three, the consistency of the proposed amendment with village plans. Yes, this continues to maintain some street yard plus the open porches that we've previously uh, been trying to work towards. Right, and I think it enhances property values in general and the community and all of that, which are purposes of our zoning code. Agreed. Number four, the consistency of the proposed amendment with the intent and general regulations of this zoning ordinance. Yes. yes the same. Yes. Number five, whether the proposed amendment corrects an error or omission, adds clarification to existing requirements, or reflects a change in policy. I would say it's a minor change in policy. Yeah, I agree with that. Minor trying, change in policy. Trying to be more encompassing for the residential districts. Yes. Uh, number six, that the proposed amendment will benefit the residents of the village as a whole and not just the applicant, property owners, neighbors of any property under consideration or other special interest groups and the extent to which the proposed use would be in the public interest and would not serve solely the interests of the applicants. Do you believe so? Expansion of the R3 district? Yep. Entire district that's covered. Number seven, whether the proposed amendment provides a more workable way to achieve the intent and purposes of the zoning ordinance and the village plans. I would say yes, it does. Yeah, I think I think it does. Agreed. Number eight, the extent to which the proposed amendment creates nonconformities. It does not. It doesn't. No, in fact, we're easing <coughs> some nonconformities. Yeah. Number nine, the extent to which the proposed amendment is consistent with the overall structure and organization of the zoning ordinance. It is, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. I think it is. All right, in that case, is there a motion? Uh, yes, a motion to approve the text amendment as presented with the edits that have been added. Is there any additional discussion? I'm sorry, is there a second? Um, I second. Okay. Is there any additional discussion? I, no? I would just say that I think some people might look at this and say, say make some reference to Olmstead's general plan and we shouldn't be doing this and all the rest. And I just think that this, these areas, the one area, most of, most, of the, most of the properties are not in Olmstead's general plan. And then the area on Burlington is, but they were, plotted out as small lots. So this is simply, you know, these were not areas where you would have large rolling lawns. And so I think reducing the street yards for the purposes of having these unenclosed porches on these select properties is a benefit and is not inconsistent with the general plan. Very good points. Uh, to your point, I would say I'm not in support of this concept that the area was not in Olmstead's gen general general plan because we're looking at the village as a whole, but in support of what you're saying, yeah. this does support the idea of the open um, communal mm -hmm. socially uh, social building yeah, that right. the plan is supposed Commun to support Supportive of community yes. and interaction and all the rest. Does this um, go to the preservation? Yeah, it'll be at the next okay. week's uh, special meeting preservation. So they will be able to review yes. better than we can the issues of the general plan. 
All right, any further discussion? No. Ann, please call the roll. Sure. Commissioner Marhol? Aye. Commissioner Miller? Aye. Commissioner Lang? Aye. Commissioner Brom? Aye. Chairperson Nadigan? Aye. Motion carries. We have no old business. Any information anyone would like to share? In that case, I'll ask for a motion for adjournment. So, so moved. moved. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes. Meeting is adjourned. Thank you. Our next meeting will be on November 29th.